Welcome to the icon. If I was in India, we practice a culture where uh, a revered teacher uh, is looked upon uh, close to God. And today I have a very special guest whom I'm privileged and honored to be actually sitting next to. Um, allow me to introduce Reverend Guru Sri Kari Kudimani. Namaste, namaste. Sir, um, as far as uh, your name is concerned, usually people address uh, someone as Vidwan. You are like a Ravan for uh, Vridangam. And there is also uh, a reference to you as Guru. W what would you prefer or why do you think you are uh, referred to as a Guru? Because the uh, Vidwan, we can call it as a, a practitioner, can call it as a Vidwan. But in higher status, uh, teaching so many people, and then the people are also so very popular and respect among the musicians, they call them Guru. Musicians cannot call, you know, respect each other musicians. Hmm. But musicians, in the, among the musicians, they, they will respect. So they call the Guru. My Guru is Guru Surajananda. He is a Sarpa Yogi, Kundalini Yogi. Hmm. One time he asked me to put my, my name in front of Guru Karagudimani. Because when we, he was alive, I didn't want to do anything like that. Right. So after that, my 50th year of involvement of this instrument, there is a, my selective students. Uh, gave a, they present a car. Hmm. So on that day, the students, some of the students, they are, they make me, they are asking me to put the name in the, in my previous, the name, Guru Karakuri Bani. Right. So my Guru says on that day, on those days, Guru, you can put it. So similar to the, the students also asking me. So I put on that Guru Karakuri Bani. Right. As uh, probably, you know, uh, in the language we speak, English, we'd probably address you as maestro, but we understand that term guru uh, goes well beyond the term maestro. Sure, sure. And uh, yes, I, I'd also choose to call you guru, Mani sir. Um, well, uh, you have been a trendsetter right from the time you started, uh, be it the uh, uh, series of concerts that you have brought about, the Taniyavartanam series. Uh, you were the one who brought forth the Pakkavadyams to the forefront. Tell us about your journey. Before that I played so many concerts. Mm. And then one, we have to respect Palakad Bani here. Right. He is the number one player in Madangam. He gave the respect for the instrument. And then he, when he played Tani Avatram, mm. the outside people, people then came, came inside. Right. After Tani Avatram, one concert, he will play at least three or four Tani Avatram, three minutes, four minutes, like that. Mm. Every time the people come inside and then go out. Right. So after that, his period, in anybody is playing the Bhardangam Tani Avatram, people go out. It's usually taken as a break session. <laughs> <laughs> so like a break, tea, tea break, they have gone out. Mm. It makes me very sick on that situation. Mm. Mm. So, I want to play the Taniyavartanam hmm. separately. Taniyavartanam means separately we have to play. Hmm. Right. So, and two, three things uh, I did it. When I play for a concert, uh, a company, when I, before the accompaniment, I want to play the Taniyavartanam separately. Hmm. 45 minutes. Right. Then after that I will play accompaniment. Right. I gave the choice to public, right. whether you are interested to come to the Niyavartana, you can come. Hmm. If you didn't want to play for a compliment, you can go out, right. like that. Right. But what happened when, he, when I play the Niyavartana, hmm. the people, more people will come. Right. I've, I've heard After that, the, concert, that you know, the applause is <laughs> louder than your Niyavartana. <laughs> After the concert, the concert of compliment, uh, Regular concert, the people will become a thin audience like that. Hmm. So the main artist, the people, I am I'm not saying main artist, hmm. the vocalist doesn't like it that. So the concept is, 
I dropped that con concept after that. Right. And then I want to do this one uh, separately. Uh, they called uh, we called Suti and Nayam together. Right. Suti Laya. Suti Laya. So I early stage I I knowing very well for music also mm. melody. Mm. So uh, I compose some of the music. I request uh, top ranking musicians like Dr. Romani Flute or like something like that. Mm. I ask them to play that concert mm. piece and then we, we continue the Tanyavartana. Mm. So I put, uh, I, I have to sit on the center stage. Right. Because I want to give, not for me, mm. I want to give the status for the Murdangam. Murdangam. Mm. Murdangam and percussion. Mm. So, behind that uh, my uh, Murdangam, the other's uh, melody instrument mm. will come. Mm. So it so it's makes awareness to the, uh, among the musicians. Right. And the public also, because I have to, I am I'm very much afraid about that one and a half hours I have to play. Mm. I have to make the people to sit on the one and a half hours, two hours. Mm. So like a challenge for me. Right, right. On that time my guru was there. Right. He told me, mm. the people will follow your, this kind of things. It is very good, it's going to be very popular now, don't worry about it, go ahead. Mm. He said, he blessed me like that. Mm. Then I started the Sutilaya. Right. Hmm? Talam, I guess, is inherent. Talam or yeah, yeah. is inherent in every every human or uh, in nature for that matter. Layam, not to... Talam. Layam. Layam. Layam is, is inherent. one distance to another distance. Yeah, the space. The distance is called Layam. The time. It mm. may vary here like that. Here. Mm. But we have to put into the Talam construction. Into the, the Layam. layam. Mm. Right. Ah, uh, wow. <laughs> <coughs> You are already making me sweat. <laughs> association with uh, Murunangam and bringing it to the forefront and being a trendsetter in terms of uh, introducing uh, this instrument to the Western audience and crowd. Uh, you have associated with various international artists. Mm -hmm. uh, how has it been? Our system of Laya and Thala is completely different compared to the Western system. And yet uh, there is magic when uh, musicians get together. No, music, melody make, make, may be is a different. Yes. But rhythm is same. Right. When mm. you call, when you uh, uh, say in the Australia five, five plus five. Kanaka is the same. <laughs> same. <laughs> right. It should be, it should not be like a nine and a half, it's ten. Mm. Five to five plus five is ten is okay. Right. So it's so, easier to connect on uh, the yeah, rhythm, uh, rhythm is, patterns. Rhythm is, is common mm. for everybody. Mm. And uh, first uh, when I Usually in Chennai, December season, right. the people will come to my concerts, more people will come to my concert or listen my Tanya Right. And a compliment also. My compliment also is uh, different from the others. The right. people are saying like that. Yes. I am not saying. Right. People are saying like that. So, on that time, <coughs> one Finland musician's uh, artist director came to Chennai. Hmm. And he always uh, listened to my concert. I don't know that about that. Hmm. Mr. Ravichandra, who is in living in Australia, he is one of my students, serious student. Right. He saw his uh, he, his presence of my programs every time. Hmm. And they are staying in the Woodlands Hotel. Right. So they uh, each other they met in that uh, uh, dining table. Right. And uh, Ravichandra himself they introduced himself to. Mr. Aero Emi Enemi, he is a mm -hmm. composer, mm -hmm. Finnish composer. Mm -hmm. So, why you are coming? Always I am seeing that when I carry good when our programs, you are coming because I like him. Right. So, he is my guru, he said, Sir Ravi Chandra. Beautiful. So, why don't you call, why don't you meet him? So, he suggests, I would like to meet him. So immediately he arranged the meeting point. Right. In the hotel itself. Mm -hmm. On that time he was in artistic director in Helsinki festival. Right. And uh, he invited me to play with the festival and uh, he composed on music. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, it's called my house name is Laipriya. The wow. music piece was called Laipriya. Hmm. So uh, he, we worked together. That is my first entry on that Western musicians. Oh, yeah. Because of through Ravichandra I got this opportunity. Lovely. And then after that, um, so many people. In John Kesa, Neptune, Shakwachi people. Is basically he is American, but he settled in uh, uh, Japan. Hmm. And some musicians, some Malaysian musicians, Japan musicians, together we called, we got the uh, album, Steps in, Steps in Time. Hmm. So it's quite Steps interesting, in. the album is there. Mm -hmm. He was trained to be, play with me for 20 years before that. 20 years he was waiting for to play with me. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and also after that in America, USA when I go to a concert tour, mm -hmm. I played with Paul Simon also. Right. One of my students is John, mm -hmm. uh, Jamie Hayden. Mm -hmm. He's a drummer. Mm -hmm. He is always playing with Paul Simon. He called me to play with him. First of all, I'm hesitated to play with him. Though you're a Mridangam artist, uh, you, you have actually had students across the percussion uh, instruments. Mm. How is it teaching um, the concept of Laya and Thala to uh, Western uh, instrument uh, practitioners? Because I gave so, so many lecture demonstrations and workshops with the musicians, foreign musicians. Right. Because they are I make them too easy to understand everything. Hmm. I will give the gap, you know, tatiketa, 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 there is no gap. Tatiketa, dum, tatiketa, dum, tatiketa, dum, one gap. Tatiketa, tandha, tatiketa, tandha, two gaps. Hmm. So, in Western, don't put any Western notation, put on the number. Like number. That. Hmm. I train them first of all, one, two, three, four, five gaps. Hmm. Hmm. And uh, what is the syllables? Well, first of all, I teach them. Hmm. Ta is one, taga is two, tagita hmm. three, tagadina four, hmm. tagatagita five, tading in a thumb six, hmm. tading in a thumb seven, tadong tading in a thumb eight, tadong tading in a thumb. Nine, that, hmm. First of all, I make them to understand and by heart all these things. Right, phrases. Phrases. Hmm. Then easy to easy to follow. Hmm. Follow this one. Uh, see, our, our our system of music also has uh, konakol, which is hmm. again play with uh, uh, rhythms and uh, hmm. syllables. Hmm. Uh, is there anything uh, compa comparable in the Western uh, uh, industry? Something similar to our konakol? Mm. Yeah, of course, there are there are all some phrases always there. Mm -hmm. The konakol is that there is, the, don't put on any separate version of the konakol. Mm -hmm. When a, a percussion player mm -hmm. playing, mm -hmm. they have to say well, verbally, we have verbally to say what is, the tala. Mm, right. Then only they have to play for the instrument. Right, right. That's called konakol. Right. Konakol only we can go to separate uh, version. Mm. It's uh, in it's a uh, I what do you call the uh, and, yeah, percussion player should know that uh, syllables. Yeah. Uh, tell us more about uh, your association with uh, Australia and the new Spring Festival. Mm. Before that, mm. <coughs> the same thing is happening in Australia. Mm. In 50th year, I think, 50th year and Independence Day, I think, uh, they are coming to India. Right. And that time, one of the members of Australian Art Orchestra, mm -hmm. they are founding the Australian Art Orchestra, Swerin, even very uh, solo players comes together. Right. All solo players comes together, 24, minimum 24 people, they are started the, the the artist director Paul Grimsky, Paul, mm -hmm. Paul mm -hmm. and then uh, they wanted to. They are touring, the, going to tour in India. So they wanted to take one music, Indian music. So on the time, mm -hmm. his one of the member is Adrian Sharif, right, Adrian trombone Sharif. player. Mm -hmm. 
who was a member of the Australian Art Orchestra. Mm -hmm. He learned under Ravi Chandra, Mrdangam and Morsi. Right. So he casually he says he, we are going to four or five months we are going to go to India and we are looking for a good uh, music also. Hmm. And then he gave the, my CD, first album, Sutilaya. Right. Album, he gave the album. Mm -hmm. Why don't you see that uh, album? Mm -hmm. Listen to that. It is suitable for this. You can take this like mm -hmm. that. But my first uh, composition, Bahudari and Ranjari. Right. They took the for jazz music. I am not composing mm -hmm. for jazz music. I am not right. composing my own mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for classical music, but it suits for the jazz. Okay. So they did it. They asked me to permission mm -hmm. to play, and then uh, later how did on, the sounding? Uh, how did it all sound? You know, with with your composition into jazz uh, style. I, you can you can go with the into the fire album. Mm -hmm. You can see the house. Now, what is your personal feel about it? Like, you know, it's, it's absolutely different, you know. Yeah, the definitely, definitely, yeah. definitely, because the arrangement uh, uh, organized by a train sheriff. Right. And uh, very nicely he did it. Mm -hmm. Without any compromise with the, the music. Mm -hmm. So he did it very well. And the big sound, mm -hmm. with the 24 people, different music instrument when you play this, uh, music first of all first i played with the in delhi rehearsal mm -hmm. first i am going to listen who they are going to play this one okay so i was surprised how they are because music is uh, universal right rhythm right. also is universal right if you go into that correct person it's gone to the correct person it will come very nicely it came very nicely yeah, I think art uh, uh, as a link to intercultural bonds, mm. inter inter uh, uh, relations, you know, mm. is such a such a beautiful thing because it connects people in so many different planes. And I think it is essential to connect, you know, use art for the for the larger uh, community mm. to bond better. Oh, yeah. And I think New New Spring Festival is doing exactly the same. Oh, by that time, uh, after that, we played a lot. Uh, Europe tour and uh, in Vanguardia festival here and mm -hmm. so many festivals in Australia also we played. Mm -hmm. After that, uh, after Paul Grabowski uh, quit the job, mm -hmm. little bit Indian musicians playing is a lesser, less aspect in Australian art orchestra. Right. And then be thinking about myself and Sandy events and Mm -hmm. and uh, Jonathan uh, Diamond mm -hmm. and uh, Adrian Sharif. Mm -hmm. We sit on that uh, one day, two years back. Mm -hmm. The smaller group we had to do this because 24 people are like a circus. Mm -hmm. People cannot afford to arrange the concerts also. Right. So we can, we don't just shrink it and then make it on seven to six to seven people. Mm -hmm. So four people Australians and three people from India, like a Saptaswaras. Right. Oh, cute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we decided two, three, two and a half years before that, new music we had to take, and old music also, one or two music we have to include that. And new music, so we, so many titles came to me, and then I finally selected the new spring. Beautiful, and it's just the start of spring in Australia, and it's just the app title. Yeah, yeah. So, a quick question: uh, There are so many amazing percussionists in India. Uh, mm -hmm. For example, from the south, we also have uh, Viku and Ikram sir, mm -hmm. uh, Khatam, um, and in the north, we have uh, yet another set of uh, amazing percussionists, starting with um, Zakhar Hussain, Tofi Qureshi, and all, all of them. Uh, how, how do you have you associated with musicians from the north uh, or? Um, uh, like there are so many amazing bands from India. Of course, I played with uh, Zagir four or five times. Mm -hmm. It's a rare, very rare experience. Yeah. Because he is the number. I think he is the the best tablist. Mm -hmm. He knows very well uh, about our. You know, in India they can say that um, Shruti in the north. Mm. Mm -hmm. I am in the south. South. They, usually the 
నార్త్ ఇండియన్ మ్యూజిషియన్ శృతి ఇస్ కంప్లీట్లీ శృతి రిప్రొడ్యూస్ <laughs> so Uh, so tell us about more about the artists associating with you for new spring festival new spring the sandy events mm-hmm. you know the hisses in from sydney mm-hmm. we are associate us a long time more than 20 years mm-hmm. and then uh, we gave some we also we worked together for his uh, uh, one album for her phd oh lovely because the phd subject is uh, jazz with the indian uh, fusion music subject is like that beautiful okay so i gave so much of inputs on everything right helping so she got the doctorate also uh huh oh and uh, adrian sharif is a very famous trombone player he knows very well in grammatical also and very well in classical carnatic music right when he was in the bridge with the australian art orchestra and indian indian musicians and he is also going to play and jonathan diamond is a very very fantastic player is because he is a very sharp mind mind and also this people he is going to play with his bass guitar right and also adam king also is equally good very you know we are very fortunate all top all musicians very clever and very highly talented people hmm in the indian side there is a electric violin with ragendra rao he is very used to play with the western artist. musicians hmm. a lot of my fusion music right she is playing right and guru prasanna is a very promising gijra player mm-hmm. from bangalore right so we are going to play together tomorrow it's it's beautiful to uh, i'm sure it's going to be a treat uh, for all those audience out there and i'm sure it's going to be a sold out show so one quick question if it wasn't for mridangam i know you've been associated with mridangam since the age of 3 and you know you've been trained in that but if it wasn't for mridangam what would guru karikudi mani be uh, known for i want to learn tabla oh because tabla. i love to love the sound and love to play that a lot of range is there Mm-hmm. more than the mridangam there is a lot of range in tabla section is there ah beautiful and if it wasn't for an indian instrument what would you choose of course the drum oh lovely <laughs> cuz uh, when you know that uh, the rhythm pra- calculations mm-hmm. we can mm-hmm. adopt in the drummers mm-hmm. drum i think the drummer uses the entire body as well <laughs> It was a pleasure interviewing you on your 75th birthday you, and an honor. Thank you very much. Uh, God give you all the more. You are also said now that you are you are came to know that you are a dancer which we dance. Of course uh, musicians can ask only this kind of questions. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much sir.